Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we are going to be taking a look inside a Nintendo Switch game cartridge. The cartridge is composed of a plastic outer casing and an electronic chip inside. What you are looking at is the damage that our family dog, Cooper, did to my son's Mario Brothers U Deluxe game. My first thought was, can I try to rescue this game? Looking at the back, where the 16 gold pads are located, you can see the pads are still intact and connect to the traces. It looks like maybe a couple of pads may be touching. So I used a magnifying glass and a hobby knife to make sure they're not touching. I figured that since the plastic casing was damaged and the pins are good, I would buy the cheapest Switch game on eBay and swap out the chips inside. I also made sure the game was the same type as there are some games that have a green circuit board that fill the whole cartridge, and others have a black circuit board that fills half the cartridge. A few days later, the game arrived in the mail. Yay! Time to open the damaged game. The casing is made of two plastic molds. The top or front plastic is shinier than the lower section or the back, and you can see the seam where they meet. I'm inserting a hobby knife in the seam to separate the two halves. I'm separating the top part of the cartridge first, then I'm using a guitar pick to pry the rest of the casing open. Alright, we got it open. Here's a look at the contents of the cartridge. And here are the same parts flipped around. Now let's open the donor game. I noticed that there's a wedge at the top right of the cartridge where you can insert a sharp tool to pop it open. I missed that detail when I opened the Mario game. I'm separating the cartridge at the corner. Now I insert the guitar pick. Slide and wiggle, and eventually it will open up. Now let's get the Mario game and insert it in this casing. It does not snap in tightly, so I use double-sided tape in a couple of locations to hold it together temporarily. If you want a more permanent seal, use some gel super glue. The game is ready. Let's see what happens. Womp, womp, womp. So what happened? I looked at the donor game chip. It looks great. You can see the pads and the traces on the circuit board. The black rectangle is the storage chip where the game data is stored. Looking at the Mario game, they're using the same chip manufacturer, a Taiwanese company named Macronix International. The circuit board even has what looks like surface mounted capacitors down here. Okay, here's when I saw the problem. Did you catch it? The chip is cracked. There's one full crack and a couple of stress cracks. Here's another look at those cracks. Well, no wonder it didn't work. The Mario game was fun while it lasted. Unfortunately, Cooper was the last one to enjoy the Mario game. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to help out the channel. Leave your questions in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.